Hello, what is up guys? It's Evil Duos Arm here today, back with another Blade & Soul video. In today's video, we're going to be getting a little bit of a preview into the fishing system that is coming with the update on June 19th. So, if you are new to the game or new to Blade & Soul and haven't subscribed to the channel already, please consider subscribing as it does mean a lot to me. And at 20,000 subscribers, I'm dyeing my hair neon green, and don't you want to see that? Anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. So, if you've been playing Blade & Soul anytime in the last few months, if you press Shift F1 on the keyboard, you will have noticed that there's this little fish icon that pops up on the screen that has absolutely no use. Well, that changes at our next patch. We are getting the fishing system. So last Thursday, Blade & Soul put out a little bit of a press release on the fishing system. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. And Timo, because I know you're watching my video. See, right there, we have the fast class. It's going to be coming out right after this. Anyway, an introduction to fishing. So this is a little press release that they put out. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to go and complete a story quest after Act 10 or a side quest after Act 10. The side quest after Act 10 is going to give you bait items that you need in order to fish. You can also purchase these bait items from the merchants that will be located near the fishing spots. There are going to be three different fishing spots in the game. The three fishing spots are outlined right here on the map. The first one is in Dasara Palace Garden. The second one is in Sapphire Basin. And the third one is in Moontide Bay. If you do not know where Sapphire Basin is, and you're going to want to know where that is because that's where you need to go to complete the quest after you finish Act 10, Sapphire Basin is located here on the map. Let me just escape out of this. Press M on the keyboard to open the map. So, to get to Sapphire Basin, you want to go to Moonwater Plains, which is down here in the bottom right. And then you have Sapphire Basin in the bottom left of this map. If you click on that, the location you need to head to is going to be Fish Belly Pub, which is the location in the middle. If you remember this from the story, it's the big old fish looking bar thing that's sitting in the middle of the lake. So yeah, that's where you're going to go to start the fishing quest if you want to do it. You do not need to finish Act 10 in order to fish. You can fish whenever you want. You just have to talk to the merchant that sells the bait instead. If you want to get the bait for free, though, finish that quest. So all three of these fishing locations have different fish available to catch. You'll see why this is important in a second. Also, the fish that you can catch are of differing rarities. So depending on the rarity and type of fish you want to catch, you're going to have to use different baits, just like in real life fishing. Once again, the merchant will sell the different types of bait, so you just need to know which one you're going for and when to start. When the full thing goes live and I can actually get my hands on it and figure out which fish do what, I'll put out a full guide on fishing, but this is just our little beginning overview. So anyway, you get your bait and you go to the location that you want to fish at, you click the bait from your inventory and you'll start to fish. While you're fishing, a little prompt is going to pop up saying to press F. You press F, you catch the fish. Pretty simple. It will not be an AFK system like Black Desert Online. Um, you're actually going to have to have to interact with the fishing mechanic in order to catch the fish, which is pretty cool. So there's going to be a fishing log that is going to be added into the game. It's going to keep track of all of your fish that you've caught, as well as the largest one that you've caught. There's going to be a new mechanic called leisure points, or leisure points, however you want to pronounce the word. You're only going to be able to catch a certain number of fish per day. The leisure point system will reset at 6 a.m. server time every day. Every time you catch a fish, you lose three of the leisure points, and then after you've used all 225, you'll have to wait until the next day to continue fishing, after which the points will be reset to 225. Every fish you catch has a different reward of these items called angler's pearls. So as you can see right here, this feeble fish rewarded 12 angler's pearls to the person who caught it. So these angler pearls can be used to redeem for different items from the different merchants that are located near the fishing spots, the same ones that sell you the bait. The items that we have are this Fish Network Treasure Pouch, which we'll look at in a second, and the Fish Network Upgrade Treasure Pouch. Additionally, we have Networker, Networker Hat, Soul Warden Headpiece, Righteous Way Headpiece, Maestro Eye Patch, basically a bunch of the different crafting guilds uh, outfits available for these pearls. These outfits are part of a new set, so this new set is going to give you some bonus stats, so you might want to farm these up to go ahead and get this. However, at 40,000 pearls, if you're only looking at like 12 pearls per fish, it's going to take a long time to get that sucker. But anyway, something to shoot for, something to farm for, uh, another item to have to show your status in the game. Anyway, the items that a lot of people will be a lot more interested in are the upgrade material items, or the upgrade items. So the Fish Network Upgrade Pouch that goes for 1,200 pearls, is going to give you a random one of the four different EXP charms. I don't know what these drop rates are going to be. If it's anything like the last area that they added in, they're going to be pretty atrocious. So I don't know how well of an, a system this will be as far as upgrading your character. Once again, when the full patch goes live, I'll mess around with this system a little bit and see what I can find out to give you a bit of a more of a informative guide on the system. Once again, just an overview here. The other item is the Fish Network Treasure Pouch, which gives you a guaranteed 50,000 EXP for 600 pearls, which isn't too bad. And then you have a random chance at any of the different pets. So these pets might be pretty cool. They might be something you want to farm up. And even if they are not sellable, you can use the purple type to create pet pods. So this could be another way to gear your character. 
But anyway, guys, that is all that they have out on the system so far. So if you want to read the full press release on this, the link is in the description below so you can check that out yourself. And as always, thank you so much for watching. If you did like the video, make sure to leave a like, check out some of the other videos on the channel, and I will see you at the next video. Peace.